On his small plot of land in Kikuyu, Peter Shege grows tomatoes, barley, lettuce and strawberries on a reservoir of nutrients in water and without soil. Using a technology known as hydroponics, he has eliminated the need to use soil. The farming technology is fast gaining traction in Kenya with most farmers frustrated by the high cost of input with little return. On this week's Next Frontier, Phil Kitani takes us through soil-less farming and some of the benefits it's having for farmers. Arable land is fast becoming a challenge for farmers, with most having to contend with small chunks of land to make a living. But for some ingenious farmers, there is always a way around the challenges. Take Peter Shege for example. Frustrated by low quality of raw grain that he received from his suppliers, he set out to develop a more efficient way of growing cereal that are often used in making animal feed in Kenya. This is how he came up with hydrophonic technology. Instead of soil, you use uh, inert media like uh, pumice, as you can see this, this, uh, these uh, stones. These are inert, they will not react with the, the, the fertilizer. Uh, the, the, the reason why the uh, problem with the fertilizer is uh, it tends to marry the, 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 uh, the soil tends to marry the fertilizer. Though having been in global existence for over 50 years, the technology started gathering pace in Kenya over the last two years, although many smallholder farmers have little or no knowledge about it. A year ago, he upscaled his operation and started building hydroponic system for interested Kenyan farmers. The shed that housed the system can be as small as 60 cubic meters and can therefore be built on small piece of land, even in peri-urban areas. Peter installs the 60 cubic meter system at a cost of about 100,000 shillings. Operating at capacity, the system can produce 200 kilograms of barley a day for animal fodder enough to comfortably feed 10 cows. This technology offers a lasting solution to the frequent drought experience in most parts of the country and the need for expensive irrigation system. For 40 days, you harvest as the 30 day. This is the 30 day, or 40 day in the morning. That's when you harvest for the 40 at this size. The reason why we don't wait at this stage is because forty does not require a lot of flashage and there will be waste. This will also save farmers from agony of expensive fodder storage facilities and guarantee a constant supply of high quality fodder. Unlike hay and silage, which lose their nutritive value over time, the quality of hydrophonic fodder is always guaranteed since it's feed to farm animals or birds while still fresh. This is what we are doing here as a trial for growing rice. And once this one we do it, we can be able now to grow even fishery rice in any part of the country. In a continent where farmers have for years relied on rain-fed agriculture, this could be a solution to food security. It doesn't matter the size of land that you have. What matters is the kind of technology that you apply on your farm. For example, this tray of hydrophonically grown fodder can feed a cow that produces 20 liters of milk daily and only take seven days to mature. Philip Kaitan for the next frontier.